What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome back to Pokemon Academy Life Demo version 1.02 part 4, I believe is what part I'm on. Hopefully I'm right, either way, or I'm talking out of my ass. Anyway, I have been looking forward to jumping into this game again. Uh, so basically yesterday we more or less started our natural day that we would have in this school. And I like the fact that it's it's more or less set up like a regular school. You have two classes in the morning, you have lunch, and I'm guessing you have two classes in the afternoon. So I had my first elective yesterday, which was electric. And I know some people might say, find stereotypical, but I'm probably going to go with Pikachu as my Pokemon of choice when I, I'm guessing I get to choose my own Pokemon in this game. I don't know how it actually works. The developer really hasn't sophisticated on what that might particularly be. Or if he has, I haven't actually heard of it. So anyway, I'm looking forward to choosing my first Pokemon or whatnot. Plus, on the main menu, it shows Red holding Pikachu on his shoulder with Leaf laughing and pointing at him so you know why not I know it's stereotypical but and I know that he's like the stereotypical Pokemon but Pikachu is probably still my favorite Pokemon especially that's why Pokemon Yellow is my favorite Pokemon game ever and I have like two copies of it why I have two copies of it one I had myself the second one I bought off of a friend because he was gonna throw it away and I wasn't gonna let that happen anyway so I'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of the day plans out now yesterday we went through uh, electric and then we had our gym class which not only is gonna be like regular gym which is running and stuff like that but it's also gonna do mock battles which I think is really cool and then we went to lunch, which was a long period, and it's cool that we see all our friends and everything coming together. We actually met a couple new people. There's so many characters in this game that I'm not going to remember all of their names. So, you know, luckily, usually whenever uh, I see one, the, the your character will be like, oh, there she is, or there's that particular person. Which is good, because there's so many different characters in this game. There's no way I'm going to remember all of them. And then now we have a uh, fire, and I have no idea what the second class I'm going to go through. And then I'm guessing there's going to be something at the end of the day. So... I, again, I don't know any more than you guys do unless you play the game itself already, but I'm guessing the demo is going to end after the first day. So I'm going to go through my last two classes and there's going to be something that happens at the end of the day and I'm guessing the demo is going to end around that time. I mean, it only makes sense for the demo to do that. And then I'm pretty sure, again, as far as I know, this is the last demo that's coming out uh, until the full version comes out. The developers are just like buckling down and saying, all right, we're going to work on the rest of the game from here on and there might be some updates here and there, but they're just going to go, you know, head first into the game. Unfortunately, the game, my guess, I don't know how, how far they're actually in the game, but my guess is it's probably not going to come out until very late this year, but I'm still looking forward to it. So, let's continue on with the day. Round two. I see Flannery sitting near the back of the room. I don't think she realizes I'm here. For the entire what? For the entire way here, May had a huge grin on her face. Hey, Maniacs, what a coincidence. I bet she was waiting the whole time to say that, even though she already knew that I was in this class. It's not much of a surprise if you told me what elected that told me what electives you were choosing before classes start, you know. Oops, you're right. I didn't tell you. But the important thing is that we had two classes together. Yeah, you looking forward to it? You bet. Oh yeah, because we have home room, so technically there was three classes. Okay. Hello, students. I'll wager you're all very excited to be here. Yes. Well, it doesn't matter if you're n you are or not, because you will. This is the fire class for all you knuckleheads that might be in the wrong class, and I'll be your instructor for the semester. You can call me Blaine. I'm, I've am i been researching fire Pokemon since your parents were in diapers. Or in their diapers. Sorry, I might change some words just because it rattles off my tongue faster and easier for me to say. Sorry about that. It's just how I usually read. Also, I don't recognize this guy. Most of the characters that I recognize are usually characters from like the first generation or maybe the first couple of movies uh, or the first couple of generations of Pokemon. Again, I haven't played any Pokemon games since after Sapphire, so I have no idea. I have quick, uh, I have Soul Silver, which was just a remake of Pokemon Silver, but that's basically it. Yes, Fire is one of the most popular Pokemon types, and I am not surprised I have so many students in here. Why, back in the day, at least one fire Pokemon was found on the World Champions team for 20 years running. No other uh, no other type has that honor. That's because fire Pokemon have all the best aspects of strength and intelligence. They are naturally powerful. There's no need for any of that silly effort training this generation is so obsessed with. Okay, so natural talent, I guess, is what he's going with? I remember when I was your age, my Magby and I used to... This was on for over half an hour. I can barely keep my eyes open listening to this guy prattle on. I'm feeling really tired all of a sudden. A wave of, ex a wave of exhaustion hits me and I can feel myself falling asleep. My head slowly tips forward as, as I drift into unconsciousness. Sorry I can't read words today. Gah! Did the person behind me hit, just hit me? As I turn around, I see a sophisticated looking girl staring at me. I don't know what to say, so I stare straight back at her. What? Uh, did you need something? I'm simply doing you a favor. What might that be? 
Do you really think it's acceptable to fall asleep in class on the first day? Was it that obvious? Oh, that's what you're that's what you were doing. Sorry, I appreciate the help. Don't mention it. I can see why you would feel a bit trained listening to all of this. No kidding. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Serena. I'm Maniacs. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. And I like the fact that the characters, like, even though they might, she looks kind of sophisticated, so she would kind of talk more proper. Like, the characters kind of fit who they pick, depict in the game, which is cool. And it allows me to give a slight, like, variation in their voices. I apologize, I don't have a huge repertoire like some uh, YouTubers and stuff like that. I do my best. Most of the teachers have the same uh, actual, like, voice and whatnot, but, you know, I, I kind of vary it up. I only have one girl voice, though. Sorry. Speaking of feeling a bit drained, oh, Flannery is out cold. That's not good. I look over to where Flannery's sitting and find her face down on her desk. I know she said she couldn't handle mornings, but the school day is almost over. Oh, and now she's snoring. Good. Oh, my. Wow, she's... Oh, and she's... Wow. What is that dreadful noise? Is it coming from that girl over there? Flannery, hey! Yeah, she don't give a fuck. Flannery, wake up. Your snoring is really loud. Oh. What? I don't snore! Pardon me. Pardon me? Sorry, my hearing's not as good as it used to be, little missy. Uh, uh, I said I love boulders or something. I see. Thank you for sharing that with us, but this is the fire class, not the rock class. If you want to discuss rock Pokemon, you can speak with him, speak with me after class. Right, sorry. Moving on, when the wonders of trading, with, trading was first invented, the capsule system... Is Flanner, Flannery embarrassed? She's kind of cute to watch. What are you staring at? No, nothing. But luckily, the PC changed all that. No more carrier pidgeys. Wow, so he basically talked the entire class. Hmm, looks like our time is up. No homework for the first day. Class is dismissed. What a, what a day it's been. Still, one more class, though. Gotta finish strong. What is the last class? I don't remember. Then again, I don't know. Oh, it's just homeroom again? This is the same homeroom I was in, isn't it? As the day draws to a close, I find myself back in homeroom with Professor Oak. The day itself didn't feel like it dragged on for that long, but all things considered, I'm really, I'm ready to call it. Judging by the looks on everyone's faces, they look like they're ready too. So much for finishing strong. The final period burns through while we, uh, burns through while we listen to Professor Oak talk about rather trivial matters like making sure we take our notes, label our notepads, notebooks properly, and avoid pulling all-nighters. It's weird. I was expecting class with the professor to be a little more, how should I put it, fulfilling? At least that's what my other classmates were talking or making it out to be earlier in the day. Oh, I can't talk! But so far, I haven't taken anything out of the homeroom that's especially memorable, other than the scary speech about the school's graduation rate. Maybe he's unprepared? No way. Profe not Professor Oak. I could tell by the w looks in your eyes that you're all quite tired of listening to me prattle on. To tell you the truth, I'm tired of it, too. Ha <laughs> ha! But before I dismiss you, let me give you all a welcoming gift, a celebration for your acceptance into Kabukin Academy. Oh. Are those what I think they are? If so, this class just got a lot more interesting. Today, each of you will be taking home a Pokemon for yourself, courtesy of the Academy. In each of these Pokeballs that you will receive is a random, unevolved, untamed Pokemon. Consider them your homework for the next three years. Wow, that's pretty cool. Hey, I got plenty of Pokemon back home already. I don't need any more, especially uninvolved ones. Regardless of what Pokemon you may already own, these Pokemon will be required to stay on hand for the rest of your time at Kabukin Academy. That is a cool assignment. At the end of your third year, this Pokemon will be reviewed along with every, along with yourself and other potential Pokemon in your party to determine whether or not you can graduate. Great. I just love being forced to take, an, uh, take on liabilities. Why is he such a deuce? That's the spirit, Gary. So that's how they do it. I get, I had assumed the school wasn't going to be all about good grades, so this isn't a complete shocker. I'll call you up one by one to receive your Pokemon. Remember, what you get is what you get. This takes me back to when I had, when I was a kid, at, and Professor O gave me my first Pokemon. It was the same situation. I didn't get much of a choice. In retrospect, it wasn't the momentous, it wasn't that momentous on occasion, but I thought it was the best day of my life. Times were simpler back then. Speaking of which. Knowing that I could bring any Pokemon I want from home, I need to get Mom to send me his, send me him as soon as possible. I hope he's not too lonely being at home all by himself. I got a Vulpix! Woohoo! Vulpix, I don't remember- Oh! Oh! That was, uh, that's the Pokemon that, like, uh, in the first season or the first series that Brock gets from that, uh, lady who's, like, a hair salon dresser or something like that. 
She's a little fox creature. Kind of cool. Wow, I didn't realize we were getting such high-grade Pokemon. I was thinking we were getting nothing but Rattatees and Bidfoots. Uh, Bidoofs? Bidoofs? I don't know how to say that. Not that I wouldn't be happy with either of those. I'm grateful for be for. Oh my god. I'm grateful for be for. Oh wait, no, it is messed up. Okay, so I'm not actually reading that wrong. I'm grateful for be getting anything at all, but it kind of sucked knowing I got one of those when someone else got a Vulpix. Maniacs! Phew, okay. Here goes. The moment of truth. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna end up getting Ratator. Ratatat or Bid Bidoof. Whatever gods are out there watching me, please don't let me down. Oh, do I have to choose? Hmm. Congratulations! It's a Charmander! This Pokemon is really quite energetic! I. What? You're not pulling my leg, are you? I'm not pulling anybody's leg! He's in your care now! Alright! He's adorable! A Charmander! Today is my lucky day! I didn't know what to expect, but everything somehow turned out better than I could have imagined! Thank you. I knew these gods were looking after me. You got a starter Pokemon, too. Two? Did you get- you also get a starter? You bet I did. Say hello to Bulbasaur. Well, I'm going to keep him in the Pokeball for now, so I don't think he can hear you, but whatever. He's gonna be awesome. Your Charmander should play with my Bulbasaur sometime. It's the only natural- it's only natural that our Pokemon should be best friends like their trainers. Since when were we best- You get a Charmander? Ha! That's perfect. He just has to- he just so has to ruin every happy moment I get. What's wrong with a Charmander? Oh, nothing really. Except, it won't stand a chance against my Squirtle. Ha <laughs> ha! Wouldn't it make sense to give him the Eevee? Like, I know that's the starter Pokemon that he gets, isn't it? So, what? It must be Divine Retribution. You're never gonna beat me, even at random draws. Ha <laughs> ha! Really? A Squirtle? Of all the Pokemon to get, he has to get that one. Yo! Let's check out- Let's check our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Blue, this... <clears throat> Sorry. Blue, this isn't the time or place for that. Ugh, I can't talk. Psh, whatever. My Pokemon looks a lot stronger anyway. Hey, leave him alone. It's not nice to bully others. Oh, I... Uh... And for your information, I got a fire starter too. Just ignore him. What'd you say, May? Who'd you get, May? A Torchic. She and I are going to be the best buds. I just know it. Torching, wasn't that? Yeah, because May is from Ruby and Sapphire, and that was one of the Pokemon that you could start with in Ruby and Sapphire, and that's the game that she's from. That's cool. She got a starter as well. Ah, uh, Torchic really suits you, May. I mean, your bow already kind of reminds me of their fuzzy head. Hey, you're right. You hear that, Torchic? That was this was fate. You and me were meant to be. You guys got starters, lucky. Oh, hey, Whitney. Yeah, maybe just a little. What Pokemon did you guys get? A Cleefa. I have no idea what that Pokemon is. It's a different kind of cute compared to my mill tank, but I'll take it. I heard these little tykes are really rare. I got a new mole. I'm taking the fire and ground elective, so I'd say this worked out great. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing the Pokemon that he was talking about at the beginning is Pikachu. Like, I'm guessing that I can get Pikachu from my house or whatnot. So I'm curious if that is based around the fact that I chose electric or if you just automatically get him because he's, you know, he's Pikachu, so... It might take me a while to get used to the whole camel thing it's, it's got going on, though. But it's one of the few Pokemon in the world that can learn Eruption. <clears throat> I don't know all there is to know about Fire Pokemon, but is that move super good? I mean, I guess it's alright, but I was hoping for something that isn't a Fire type for once. I got enough of those back home. See, they're kind of treating them like they're not actual, like, Pokemon are like, I don't even know how to pronounce it, like... A lot of people, it's a very touchy situation on what you consider a Pokemon. Like, you would consider them family, just like you consider pets and whatnot. So. I can't wait to play with my Torchic. She's going to have so much fun with my Skitty when she get, when she gets here. We can bring our Pokemon here from home? The professor said that it doesn't matter what other Pokemon we have in our party, so yeah. I'm getting my Jigglypuff and Nidorine sent me here tomorrow morning. Isn't Nidorine, like, really powerful? I need to get them out of a Pokemon Center. They've been in there for months. Whoa. If they're anything like me, they can't sit still for too long. That's not good, May. You've been giving them their vitamins at all. Of course. What kind of trainer would I be? Vitamins? I'm getting some fives that maybe I sh maybe I'm not the most experienced trainer in in the room right now. I mean, I've dealt with my fair share, but I've only really owned one in my life. Once again, I've got this nagging feeling that I'm a few steps behind everyone. If this keeps up, I might get left behind. 
What are you all still standing around for? Class is over. Go home. Go on home already. Wow, he's like kicked everybody out. Just get the fuck out. Pfft. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so cool. I got one of the starters. I don't know if that's like just by choices that I made or uh, if it's just like luck that you would get a starter as well. I have no idea. Hmm, sweet freedom. What do you guys want to do now? Sorry, I've got plans. Brennan said he was hungry and wanted to meet me up in the cafeteria after classes. But we just had lunch. You guys are going to stuff your faces again. You're going to get fat. Well, I'm not hungry, but Brandon wants me to come with him, so, I mean, unless you guys want to come with me. Nah, I'm okay. Maniacs and I will find something else to do. Oh. Huh? There she goes, deciding things for herself again. But it's true that I don't have any plans today, and it beats third wheeling with May and Brandon. Yo, let's go, May. Oh, great. Have fun, you two. Give me a call if you need anything, Leaf. Alright, toodles. Okay, really? The toodles? Come on. So what do you, get, what do you, so what do you want to do? Don't tell me you have plans today, too. Well, not really, but... Great! Um, want to hang out in the lobby while we think of a place to go? Sure, but I don't really know any places to go around here. What are you talking about? We can go to the garden, the recreation center, the research center, or... Or what? Does any of this sound familiar to you? I sadly shake my head. Um, I would have thought that maybe you wise up since the last time, but maybe your sense of direction is inadequately hopeless. Lucky, luckily, you have me. Let's break out the old map and take a look around the area. <clears throat> oh, so I can choose where I want to go? That's cool. Right over here at the main building above the student sensor. Now, you see all the paths on the map? Okay, I didn't skip that. This map's really straightforward. Alright, but if you have any questions about the area in general, just let me know. Oh, okay. Uh, so, let's see. So, there's the city, battle hall, rec center, aura hall. So, those are all the places where you can... I'm using my mouse. Those are all the places at the bottom where you live. So, I can go to the research center. Huh, okay. Alright. Okay, so, what activities are there to do around here? What's the big cityscape? Big cityscape up there. Uh, which buildings are open to students? What are some of the free access to students? Well, right now, all of them are more or less... With the exception of the battle hall, they're all open to students throughout this throughout the day, but they close down at night. After that, you'll need special permits. So basically, once they're closed, I'll have to wait until the next day to get in? Yeah, it's kind of lame, but once they're closed, your activities will be limited to your dorm. You should really try to make the most of your day before that. Anything else you'd like to know? Uh, what activities can you do around here? Sorry. So what is there to do around here? Is there anything in particular that everyone enjoys? Not that I can think of. There's plenty of stuff to do, but it all depends on where you decide to visit. Depending on what you do, some activities may take a little bit of time out of your day, or it may take up your entire day. Try to manage your time well and plan ahead that what you're going to be doing. Oh, so is this going to be kind of like... I don't know if anybody's ever played it, um, but anybody ever played the game Sunrider Academy? You could actually choose different things and what to do, and it's a great visual novel if you're into that style, like anime style. And it's actually based around another game called Sunrider, like Liberation Day, which is another game coming out. Or if you're tired or just feeling it is, you can go back to your dorm after classes and just kill the rest of your day there. I mean, that's only if you really can't think of anything to do, or if you have no friends. Personally, I'd love to go out and do stuff, but this school has a strict curfew, so it's... So once it's night, you can't leave the dorms. Anything else? Uh, what's a skitty? Uh, let's check Skitty City. Hey, what's that place north of the campus? The area with all the buildings. That's Inspira City. They've got all these cool shops and markets to visit. It's every girl's paradise. But for someone like you, maybe not yet. It's a far walk from the academy to, th to there, and you only get lost if you tried going now. If I were you, I'd go after I'd go after I become familiar with, enough with the campus. I can't think of any reason to go to the city right now, anyway. Anything else you'd like to know? Uh, no, I'm good. She answered all my questions. All right, I got it. Thanks for the help. No problem. Oh, so I don't actually get to choose. So anything you want to do, or do you have other plans? I technically didn't have any plans before this, but after looking at this map just now, I'm sure I can find something to do around this place. And hey, maybe I can run into someone I know I know in one of the buildings. I can also take Leaf up on her offer and hang out with her for a while. It's the least I can do after she took the time to explain everything to me. Or I could just go out and look around the campus myself. Decisions, decisions. Uh, no, we'll stick around. Yeah, let's hang out. Do -do -do -do. I can hang out with you for a while. I don't care where we go, so you can lead the way. Yay! We can just hang out here. I don't think we've had time to chat for a while. So what did you want to talk about? Hmm, anything to keep the boredom away, I suppose. So you just need me 
So you just need me here to distract you, or... What? Of course not. I'm very interested in having a thoughtful and meaningful conversation between us. Alright, then how about... Oh! You're from Kanto too, right? Have you ever been to Cinnabar Island before? I read this travel guide the other day, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. If cruise tickets got on sale before the summer, I'm sure the seasonal discount could... This girl, sometimes I can't tell if she's actively pushing my buttons or just tactle tactlessly... Tactless. Is that tactless? or Is that supposed to be tactless or tasteless? I think it's tactless. I've never heard of that word before. Tactless when it comes to this kind of stuff. If it wasn't for her somewhat graceful personality, I'd assume she's the idol of the school or something. But her personality isn't all that bad, honestly. It's nice to have someone in someone initiate a conversation with me for a change. Hey, are you listening? Huh? Sh sure. Yeah, Cinnabar Island. Super fun. <laughs> huh, I knew you'd understand. We should take a trip over there for a vacation sometime. We can bring the rest of the gang. Who? You mean May and Brandon? And Trevor, Tierdo, Shauna. I mean, unless you don't want to come too. No, it's nothing like that. I just, I had no idea. I just had no idea you thought of us like that. Uh, like what? Like, I don't know. Wouldn't you rather be, bring someone you know a little better? Don't be silly, you guys are my best friends. You say some weird things sometimes. I say some weird things? I'm surprised you think someone like Leaf would have tons of friends from home. But in any case, I'm grateful and can't help but feel a bit touched that she considered me that way. It's starting to get a little late. I think I'll head back to Relic Hall soon. Thanks for sending time. Yeah, no problem. I was nice to just hang out. Okay, I'm outside the main academy building now. Oh, so I can go wherever I want. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to save real quick. Uh, cool, so I can actually go and do whatever I want. So, research center, rec center, battle hall. We can't go to the battle hall yet. I'm in the student center, or I'm in the academy. Uh, let's go to the student center. Why not? I think we're good. Yeah, it's going to take me to the cafeteria probably where May and Brendan are. I'm not surprised by the sheer number of students in the cafeteria. There has to be twice as many students in here than earlier today. I can even see some of them eating standing up. I wonder if May and Brendan are still here. Uh, stay in the cafe. It's such a... Oh, yeah. Okay. It's such a strain to navigate through the sea of people, but I think I see May and Brendan towards the back of the cafeteria. I don't see anyone else in here. I recognize, so I may... So I may walk... Make my way over to them. I can't talk. Hey, May Brandon. Hey, I thought you were with Leaf. We chatted for a while. She went back to Ella Call first. Yo, what's good? Not much. Just passing through. What are you guys having? Having lunch for two. You? Haha, <laughs> me too. Uh, what? I reflexively said something really awkward and rather sad. I didn't even think about it, but these two look like they're having a date right now. What am I doing third wheeling with these guys? You're... Also having lunch for two? Uh, yeah. I skimped out on lunch earlier today, so I'm starving. That's great. After all, we're still growing. We need that extra food to keep us going, if you say so. Pull up a chair, friend. I ended up eating two meals by myself. But other than that, I had a decent time. Me and Brendan didn't seem to mind me joining them, and plus they're so easy to talk to. After a while, me and Brendan had to leave for other plans, so we decided to split up for the day. Now I feel bad. It's getting pretty late. I should head back to the dorms. Oh, I feel bad. I totally ruined their date. That was not intentional, but whatever. The demo ends here, but there's a lot more currently under development and on the way. Man, that's it. But hey, there's a bunch of other paths you can take to some variation. As the game goes on, the choices you make will have more impact. We barely scratch the surface. Your choices will determine who you meet. And you can't just find everyone right away. Okay, so it's the girl talking with the mouth open right now. Sometimes it comes down to your choices and sometimes you just need to be patient. Um, I don't know how to say this, but good luck. Okay, so this is just basically the ending thing. I've already gone through this. It's just basically talking about, you know, thanks for checking out the game. I'm loving this game. So, what I want to do is I'm curious... Oh, she's showing off the title screen and everything again. Cool. Alright, so it's just going to do the video, but the video for some reason doesn't work on my computer. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to continue back to where I saved, and I want to see if maybe going to Relic Hall, if I'll run into Leaf again or whatnot. I might as well, I mean, I'm only at 20, I'm at 25 minutes or whatnot. Uh, is it just going to end the game? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Let me load back. I just want to see who else I can talk to, see who else I can meet. I might as well show you guys as much of the game as I can. So, Student Center, that's where the other hall was. Let's go to the garden, see what's there. Achoo! Why did I do that in that voice? 
Well, it's springtime in a de- and it- Well, it is springtime in a decked out garden. There doesn't seem to be anyone I know here, though. Oh, okay, so it just kicks me out. <laughs> Get out! Oh, this is a research center. Check this place out! It's like Professor Oak's lab back home, except ten times bigger and cleaner. There aren't that many students around. The only people I can see are the faculty members and some upperclassmen, I think. Everyone seems busy with work. Should I even be in here? Let's take a look around. Why not? Maniacs, is that you? Oh, hi, Shauna. The one and only. I didn't expect to see you here. Me too. Well, I mean, I didn't expect to see you here. Me? I didn't come here for any real reason. Just taking a look around the school grounds, I guess. Oh, neat. I'm here because today the research center brought brought in my... Wait. Brought in my magmites and vault orbs, and we're going to see how much energy they can store in a light bulb. Oh, but we're not going to use them for slave labor or anything. Gosh, no, that'd be awful. She talks a lot. She talks a, a real lot. Okay. You could think of this as like some kind of conditioning or workout routine for Pokemon like Magnemite or Voltorb. And I heard some, I heard somewhere that since they technically don't have any muscle fibers or whatever, using up their electricity builds up their natural affinity to it. To their... Are you bothering another guest, Shauna? Who is this guy? Okay. Uh, this is why new students are all afraid of coming here. What, silly Clement? I don't, I don't scare you, do I? Nah, I've seen far scarier things than you. So, you're Clement? Is that a... Not to sound like a douche, is that a guy or a girl? I think it's a guy. Sorry, I'm not trying to sound like a douche, but that's just... I, I, it's kind of hard to tell. That's me, and I see you and Shauna know each other already. Yeah, Shauna's friend of mine. We met really early in the semester, and we've hung out a few times before this. Fascinating. Anyway, let me for formally welcome you to the research center. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of... <sighs> I can't read today. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of usual fun things to do around here, but if you're looking to advance your studies or even just to find something to do when you have downtime, there's no place better than this. Yeah, Clement's a super genius. His inventions are so cool that the school pays him to use them. Isn't that amazing? What? Shawnee, you're embarrassing me. No, that's actually kind of cool. Turns out Clement is a serious science and robotics whiz kid. He's a little eccentric about the stuff he does, but it's not a... It's a no-brainer that he's got some really cool ideas. After hanging out for a while, I decided to leave Sean and Clement to their own devices. Okay, so that's going to take me back to the main hall, to the dorms or whatnot. So there's still one more place. You can't actually go into the battle dorm or the, the battle hall. So let me load back to here. There's the other halls that I can go to, but I'm guessing I can't do anything in those halls. So let's go to the rec center and just see what's there. I bet I'm going to run into Missy, right? Because there's a pool here. The pool's enormous. It reminds me of some of the ones used at the po po Pokeathlons in Golden Goldenrod City. I recognize Goldenrod. Don't know what Pokeathlon is. With the pool is fancy, I figured there'd be students all over the place, but there's nobody in here. Though I'm sure when clubs start, the swim team's going to start take over. I figured she was going to be here. Wait, I see Missy kneeling down over by the side of the pool. It looks like she's inspecting the water with her hand. She seems busy. Why not approach her? Why not? Hey, what are you doing? What? Misty nearly falls face first into the pool. God, what? Don't scare me like that. Yikes, sorry, I wasn't trying to. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same thing. Were you about to take a dip in the pool? No, the water doesn't seem like it's ideal for swimming right now. Chew! What the hell was that? Uh. What are you doing hiding behind that wall for? What are you. What the fuck? Who is that? Wait, are you waiting for me to- Oh, he was totally gonna peep. Uh... Hey, get back here! Wait! Too late. Damn, she runs fast. Since Misty decided to ditch me and chase the peeping Tom, I might as well leave. Alright, so now that's gonna end that. So, I'll see- Because I'm guessing that the battle hall, I'm guessing there's nothing I can do there. It's probably gonna- I'm probably gonna end up going there and- Maybe I'll interact with Gary in some way, or it's just going to say, oh no, it's closed off to students right now. So let's go to the battle hall. Wow, okay, I didn't actually think I would be able to come in here. If I remember correctly, this place is where the battle team meets to scrim for upcoming matches. But actually, how much money did this pool, the school pour into their battle team? This place is huge. Telling you to get out of my way! <clears throat> I'd sound like Gary. What is he trying to start now? And I'm telling, and I'm telling you, you're not, you're not open for new memberships yet. All, their, all that hair must be weighing down on that puny brain of yours. I can't talk. What's going on here? Another one? I'm assuming you're also here to join the battle team. Me? No, I'm not. Is 
that what Blue's trying to do? Yes, do you know him? Please tell him that the battle team is not open to new members until later in the year. Did you hear that, Gary? She said... What? Who cares? Let me in. Do you have any idea who I am? I know you're annoying as hell. This conversation is over. Wow, she just like closed the door and that was it. Get the hell out. Psh! She thinks she's so high and mighty just because she's the daughter of an Elite Four member? I bet that's how she managed to become captain. Who was that? Janine. Her dad happens to be Koga. Big whoop. Uh, I'm leaving. Gary storms off with his hands in his pockets. This door doesn't look like it's going to open anytime soon, so I, I make, take my leave as well. Okay, so I didn't actually think... I, I figured I would get to the door, knock, it'd be locked, and that was it. So, I'm guessing going to the other relic hall... To the other halls and everything is going to be... It's just going to... It's not going to do anything, but I figured I might as well check it out. I don't think I should be checking out other people's dorms just yet. Okay, same thing. So, that's pretty much it. So, that is... Pokemon Academy life guys. I really enjoyed this game. Obviously the developers are still working on it I'm still really looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me checking out the game I apologize for flubbing up a lot of the words and whatnot It's just doing a lot of reading like this and I'm not used to it is it can oh wait Can I go to the city? Okay, I can't actually go there figured I try uh, doing a lot of reading like this and everything It kind of wears especially when you're not used to doing it and whatnot. So anyway, this is a fantastic game I love the music. I love the art style. I love everything about it. I love the choices and everything the developers are doing. Hopefully you guys can check the game out yourself. Go play it for yourself. Make different choices. Choose different electives. See what you guys can get. See what other characters you can meet up. I love the fact that there's so much time put into this game and there's so many different paths that you can take. It's just insane and I cannot wait for the full version to come out. And Again, I don't know. I, I probably will end up continuing on with the game. Uh, when the full version does come out, I'm probably not going to play it back to back like I did this week. I really wanted to get through the demo and just show it to you guys because, again, the first part that I did is one of the highest videos, video, highest rated video, highest rated videos and viewed videos on my channel. So I'm glad that you guys enjoy the game. Again, definitely go check the game out for yourself. I'm really looking forward to the full versions. Developers, if you happen to watch this, seriously, guys, great job. I cannot wait to play your guys' game when the full version comes out, which I think is the next big thing coming out from these guys. It's probably just going to take quite a while because there's so much to this game. There's so much writing and artwork and all that stuff and music, and I just can't wait. So that's all the time I got for you today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I will be back tomorrow with regular indie videos. And again, if you guys want to check the game out for yourself, there will be a link to it in the description below. And thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check the annotations that are going to spawn right here for more videos that I've done, and I will see you guys next time. Maniacs out. Huh, speaking of fun and liveliness, this is a huge class. I'm pleased I can recognize a few faces here. Okay, so the two on the left are the ones that we met yesterday. I didn't want the lines to pile up more than they already have. And there is Misty. She's another character that...